How you doing? I'm Brad Gilbert, and welcome to Sports School. We're gonna work on my favorite shot to work on, the volley. There's two really good ways to work on the volley. When I was a kid, I used to hit so many volleys on the wall. Believe it or not, the wall won't miss. And my coach used to always tell me, get down below the net and punch it. Get down and punch it. The second is when you have somebody that can feed you some volleys, so you get down and you really work on your short technique and punching it. Those are two good ways to work on your volley. If you're gonna spend a lot of time up at the net, you're gonna hit plenty of overheads. I got a couple of drills to make this shot what it should be. It's a tough shot, treat it like it's a tough shot, and you'll make a lot more of them. And don't forget that here on Sports School, you can use your own remote to stop, pause, rewind, and fast forward any of the training techniques that we are demonstrating. This means you are in total control. You can learn at your own pace. A couple drills I like to work with, especially my forehand volley, is I like to have somebody feed me the ball really hard on the forehand volley so I can get down low and punch it. And you need really good technique when the ball is hit hard to you. The biggest don't, though, for a lot of club players, guys come up to here and they say, you know what, hit me some volleys now. And they sit there, geez, I'm volleying great. Isn't this easy? But how often are you gonna get to here? I always say, practice where you're gonna volley, which is around the service line. If you're standing here, you're gonna get lobbed, go back to the service line, and you're gonna do a lot better volley. All right, you're up, Adrian. All right, he's gonna hit a couple hard ones. Right there, see one, the hard ball right here. You gotta keep the swing simple and punch it, keep moving. All right, on those, the key on all those balls, when the ball's hit hard to you, you want to get down as low as you can, get the shelf down, and it's almost like a karate chop move. As soon as you hit, don't stare at it. Get right back in your stance. Punch it and punch out of the stance. Don't punch it and stay there and look at your shot. It might come back. The other one is that really soft ball, the floater. That high hanging volley that all of us tend to get big eyes on, and most of us like to wait for the ball to come to us, then that becomes a much tougher shot. The floater, I call it go get the ball. As soon as you see it, you get closer to cutting it off, you're closer to winning the point. All right, Julie, let's look at a couple of floaters. Okay, go get it. As soon as you see it float, you get closer to the net. The closer you get to the net, the easier this shot is. Very nice. A lot of the ladies, they like to take that ball without moving, and it makes it a lot tougher shot, much better. On that ball right there, if you don't move, you tend to take a big swing, the shot gets more difficult. All right, and then this is a good drill where you move, move them both together. One hard one, one floater. See how close I got to the net right there? Good, about six of those, three each, from the high one, three ones getting down. Those are the keys to a really good forehand volley. Keep your head, you don't need any armor, you'll be fine. Now we're gonna work on the backhand volley. Most club players and kids at home think this is the much tougher side than the forehand side. I actually think the opposite. It's the much easier side, it's the cleaner swing of the two to hit. The key to the backhand volley is that early shoulder preparation and stepping in, and it's like a good karate chop. You step in and you go boom. But most of us, the big uh, problem for the backhand volley, they start moving in. Here, you ask, can you want to feed me one? This is the real don't, where they break the plane of the wrist. They go like this. Now, this is a clean swing. Notice how I punched it like a karate chop. Stay low and really punch through it. And remember on the backhand volley, you never want to break the plane of the wrist, almost like a windshield wiper going like this. You want to stay low, turn the shoulders, and really punch it. And you know what, a lot of the power comes from your legs and your butt. So remember, stay low, punch it, and don't break the plane of your wrist. That's the key to a good backhand volley. I like to do the same two drills on the backhand volley as I did on the forehand volley, where you work on the high floater, Remember, going to get it. And then the hard one, which teaches you the good technique, getting down low and punching it with a karate chop. You know what the best backhand volley I ever saw? 
John McEnroe. Guy never missed one. Unfortunately, every time he played me, it was money. Let's see what you got, Adrian. Nice and hard, good, simple swing, moving your feet. That's it, keep moving, nice punch. Very nice, keep moving the feet, that's it. Excellent, one more, excellent. Come on, Yaz, you got a little more. All right, Julie. Keep moving forward, the closer you are to getting the ball, the easier it is to making it. Good, she's making it look easy. Come on, get to it. And you don't want to take too big of a swing on this. Remember on this, you don't want to come in and take too big of a swing. You're coming in because you're already close to the net. Nice, easy punch. All right, you want to make me do a couple? One hard one, one easy one. Ah, there's my Sharapova grunt. Ah. This drill I used to do with Andy Roddick. He used to like me to have him hit the ball at him so hard, and every once in a while I hit him, he would just smile. But believe me, when I get to the net, he was gonna take it back out of me. You work on these two drills, you're gonna get a good backhand volley. The overhead, gotta be my favorite shot. When I was a kid, I really prided myself on never missing an overhead. If you're gonna spend a lot of time up at the net, you're gonna hit plenty of overheads. But most cl club players really dread hitting this shot. I feel like the biggest problem is the left hand. So obviously if you're right-handed, the opposite hand. When you go up to hit an overhead, as soon as you see the overhead coming, track the ball the entire time with your left hand, back pedal, and then you wanna move forward. What you don't wanna do is get caught standing still without moving and having your left hand down, or a lot of us do, oh no, your hand gets right in front of your face. So footwork, left hand the whole time, kind of back up like you're an outfielder, and then spring forward. Why don't you give me a couple? See how I back up? See how I backed up? One more. I want to back up, and then I want to move forward. And the left hand has got to be up the whole time. Never take it down. You can use a finger or your hand, but if your hand is down, you got no balance. That's the key to a great overhead. I got a couple of drills to make this shot what it should be. First, we're gonna use Julie to use the consistency on the overhead. You try to hit about five or six overheads in a row in the same spot, you know, consistently making it. The second one Adrian is gonna do where you run up and click the net and backpedal. So it's working on your backpedaling and moving. All right, Julie, you're up first. The key on the overhead, keep moving your feet and try to move forward, keeping your left hand up the whole time. That left hand is your rudder hand. You spot the ball with it. Keep moving your feet. Julie, you know the best overhead I ever saw? Boris Becker. The guy bone crushed it, never missed one. Pretty good combination, huh? All right, Adrian, this is more like the bicycle drill. Almost all college coaches in America use this where you, you practice backpedaling and then moving forward. It's a good cardio drill, and it's a good drill for hitting the overhead. All right. Now, boom, come forward. You wanna do about six of these. You can blow a gasket doing this. It's a good drill to work on both your cardio and hitting overheads. Keep that left hand up. Keep going. Come on, keep going. One more. What, you use the expensive part of the racket? All right, I'll do a couple. All right, make me do two as well. Like an outfielder, you want to back up and then move forward. Keep the left hand up. All right. Remember on this overhead, you got to keep moving your feet, keep the hand up. It's a tough shot. Treat it like it's a tough shot, and you'll make a lot more of them. 